Hello everybody. My uncle has this Otlight model GX7907 which is not working so he asked me to take a look at it and see if I could fix it. Looks like he bought a new bulb for it but the new bulb doesn't work so it, my suspicion is that the electronic ballast has failed. So I've got this apart and just did a quick look at it and clearly one of the transistors has failed. This one right here, it's got a hole blown in the side of it and then there's a resistor. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. There it is. There's a resistor right there next to the transistors. It looks like it's also not happy. As we like to say, somebody's let the smoke out, right? Smoke's the magic ingredient in all these electronic components, and if you let the smoke out, it doesn't work. So the smoke's definitely been let out of this transistor right here, which is going to be a little bit difficult to replace because uh, I did a quick look on the part number. It's not going to be readily available, so I'm going to have to do a substitution. But I'll get it. A new transistor and a new resistor. We'll see if that works. Yeah, those parts are going to be really, really cheap. And if they don't work, I'm just going to convert this over to an LED lamp. This is not going to pick up on the camera very well, but it looks like the transistor is a part number BJT100S. And I'm just going to replace it with a transistor. Here's the spec sheet for the BJT100S. I'm just going to replace it with a uh, transistor that's got a little bit higher power rating I give it a little more um, safety factor and I'll try to find a resistor that's also got a little bit higher power rating than the one that's there and we'll see whether that fixes the problem so I think these are the four parts that are defective two transistors and two resistors uh, you can clearly see that one of the transistors is totally destroyed. Since I'm in there I'm just going to replace both transistors. You can see the old number, original number. And then these two resistors look like they're shot. Uh, fortunately, flip these over one of you can see. There's a hole blown out on both sides of them. There you go, you can see it there. A resistor there and that resistor there. Uh, but fortunately there was enough marking left over that I could determine what the value is and the value turns out to be uh, 10 ohms. My new parts showed up today. Uh, they were very inexpensive and it only took 15 days to get here from uh, China. I bought 10 of these transistors here for 94 cents delivered and I bought 50 resistors these happen to be half watt resistors and uh, probably significantly bigger than the original ones but I wanted to have uh, additional power capability just in case that was the reason for the original failure these half watts are probably a little too big for the board but there's plenty of space it's not a critical circuit so I'm pretty sure they'll work just fine uh, the resistors I bought 50 of them for $1.48 delivered so 94 cents for the transistors 10 of them I only need two a dollar forty-eight for the resistors. I got fifty of those. I only need two. And then on top of that, I'm going to get six percent cash back. Uh, if you are not a TopCashBack.com subscriber, use the link below. I'll get a little referral bonus, and you can sign up from there. But Top Cash Back in this case is going to give me six percent rebate on top of my purchase. So you link in a Top Cash Back first, log into your account and then uh, log on to eBay or Walmart or wherever you like to do your online shopping. In this case, it was AliExpress. Log on to AliExpress. Top Cash Back keeps track of the transaction, and eventually, if you're patient enough, you'll get the 6% uh, rebate back into your account in the form of cash. So here's a good picture of the old parts at the top, the two transistors, the two resistors, and my new parts at the bottom. As you can see, they're substantially bigger. I selected J13007-2. So here's the solid state ballast. I have the new transistors installed. There's one here and one here. And then I've installed two new resistors. 
There's one you can see here, and the other one is right here. So those four components will replace the two transistors and the two resistors. Transistors T1 and T2, and resistors R4 and R6. Here it is all back together again, and as you can see, it works. So for just uh, a couple of pennies worth of components, I was able to fix this lamp. I'll put the lampshade on it and the other parts before I give it back to my uncle. If you found this video at all helpful or interesting, please subscribe to my channel. And I take no responsibility if you attempt to do this repair yourself and you don't have the skill or knowledge necessary to keep yourself safe and use the proper soldering techniques to make sure that you have a good and safe circuit. Thanks for watching.